Hi and welcome back. Today I have for you today is a dim bulb test that I put together. I'm doing some work on some old valve radios and I needed a dim bulb tester so I'll try and do something a little bit jazzy. Um, so if you keep watching I'll show you how to put it all together and at the end I'll show you it all working. Okay, let's go. Um, down to the ground. Dragon is constantly no I no make a shot I love the pain it sets me free It's wrong I can't make right I love the bird below you said Okay, so this was my thoughts on building a dim bulb tester. Um, what I've done is I've drawn just a small sketch here of what I want it to do. So basically I built the, the whole box um, and then I will saw it down the middle through here um, and then put a base on and this is going to be, there's going to be two bulbs here, um, the outlet here and this will be emergency stop and I'm thinking of doing some like um, bypass switching here and maybe um, an amp voltmeter just below the, the power point so um, so I have cut all the wood up and uh, and I'm just going to do show you the the layout and uh, and then I'll be able to go from there so as you can see I've got the the two bulbs here and the, the power outlet uh, emergency stop and uh, and this is where I'm going to put the bypass switches and the and probably the um, the meter that shows the amps and the and the voltage. Um, so yeah, so this is where it's at at this stage. Uh, I am waiting on waiting on some more materials to come, and then uh, I'll put it together. And I'll probably show you some um, um, video of me putting it together, and then the final product. So yeah, so so it all should. Uh, all should work out fairly well I think. Okay. Okay, so I'll put the box together. Um, I've also done the where the all the control gear will go. This will be this plate here and this will uh face this way and then I will cut this and this will go inside which I'll show you later. Um, and what I've done here is this is where the, the bulbs will go here then I have an emergency stop here a power outlet here the meter gear goes in here goes this way and this is the the switches so this is just aluminium plate with the holes drilled in it and I've made a little um, control panel here I do this just on the, the computer and then I laminate it and then I use holes to punch out the where the screws go and things like that so that will go in there and these will go on the side here, one here and one in here to protect the bulbs. Okay, so I'll start um, putting this together and then we'll have a look at that.
finally finished um, we will uh, gonna open it up here and have a look at it and uh, then I will put a, a variac here and an isolation transformer and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll test it and uh, I'll short it out as if it's gonna short um, and then we'll see the, the, the dim bulbs light up okay so this is how it was these are to protect the bulbs so when you're putting your case back on smash the bulbs. I, I may put a strap across here um, at some stage. Okay so we've got uh, powers on here so we've got an um, emergency stop so the power comes in and um, goes through a, a two amp fuse at the back 
and then through the emergency stop and then it goes down to the, the controls and then out to the gear so here so I will uh, turn it on so we've got on the beer rack here so turn it on that's up um, power on and we'll put it on the on the ding bulbs first and we'll see this here this will start to light up soon so 120 200 220 240, 240 here, um, and we can, well, everything seems to work. The only thing is, the, it looks like the, the light bulbs here are very dim. So, um, we are, so this is for this bulb in the circuit, um, and then when this is on the bulb here, this is on the foot bypass, it turns off. And of course, the emergency stop, it just stops it. Okay. So what we'll do now is we'll turn it off and then we'll put a short in the circuit. Okay, so um, we will now turn it on. Do it 240. Okay. Bulbs are on. Now I'll put a sh two bulbs are on. I'll just do one bulb first, and I'll put a little short in the circuit. There you go. So that's a short in the circuit. And now we'll do two bulbs. Okay. So these are connected in parallel. Okay. So then of course we're not going to put the bypass because we've got this in, and that will just blow the fuse. So anyway, so that's how it works there. Um, I don't know how that glare was for you, but uh, it all seems to be working. And uh, maybe I might mod try and modify these to see if they can become a little bit brighter. Um, I don't know what I can do. Maybe we'll, we'll install something different. Okay. Okay. So we'll put this back together now. See, this just plugs in the back here. It's got like a socket out of an old computer power supply and that's where the two amp fuse is okay so that's it um, thank you for watching and uh, I may at the end we'll see what happens um, I may put a schematic up um, just to show you the schematic on this just a, a, a picture on the end of this video okay th thanks for watching my video and don't forget to um, subscribe and um, I'll see you next time bye